Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. A representative of the state government just contacted me regarding our recent funding proposal. Our request was approved, so the community centre is going to be the recipient of a technology grant worth $75,000. Wonderful! Now we can finally afford to replace the outdated electronics in our computer lab with more modern equipment. People in the community are going to be very pleased with the news. That's right. However, there are limitations on how the grant money can be spent, so we'll have to read over the documents carefully before buying computers or other devices. Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Good morning, Mr. Abdul. This is Alicia Pons calling from Davenport Architecture. We received your resume and cover letter in regard to our associate architect position, and we would like to invite you in for an interview this Thursday. Are you available in the morning? Thank you for contacting me. I already have an appointment scheduled in, but I'm free that afternoon or at any time before 12 p.m. on Friday. Thursday afternoon at 2 p.m. will be fine. I'll mark it in my calendar. Is there anything else I should bring, like a reference letter? I'd appreciate an example of a blueprint that you created for a previous employer. Other than that, I have everything I need. Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation Do you know why our investor, Mr. Herman, hasn't gotten in touch with me yet? He was supposed to call at around 9 a.m. today. Which is when his flight was scheduled to arrive, but it's 9 45 now and I haven't heard from him. I just received a message from his secretary indicating that his flight was delayed in Detroit. Apparently, his departure was postponed by an hour due to a severe blizzard. His flight should arrive shortly, however. Oh, I see. In that case, we'll have to hold off starting the presentation on product development until this afternoon, as Mr. Herman is flying in to listen to it. Yes, that looks unavoidable at this point. I'll notify the research team. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Pardon me. Is there an ATM I can use other than the one by the bank's entrance? Quite a few people are in line to use that one. Unfortunately, the only other one in the building is undergoing regular maintenance. It won't be accessible for about an hour. Hmm. I'm in a bit of a rush. I need to withdraw cash before I fly to Vancouver for a business trip. Well, the teller at the end of the counter is helping another customer, but that shouldn't take too long. You can get cash from her once she's available. I'm sure you'll find that option faster than using the machine. Yeah, you're probably right. Thanks for the suggestion. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation Hello, this is Wendy Ron from Silver Fork Engineering. I'm calling about some of the air conditioning units in our office building. Three of them are extremely loud and have been distracting our employees. Could you please send a technician to look at them tomorrow? I'm sorry, but all of our technicians are booked through Thursday. With the hot weather, we've been repairing a lot of air conditioners lately. However, one is available this Friday. Would it be acceptable for him to stop by on that day instead? That would work. We're holding a staff picnic on Friday, so there won't be anyone here to get in the repair person's way. The building manager can give him access to our office. Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation Good morning. I work at Spectre Industries, and we want to convert a vacant lot on our property into a garden with a seating area. Could your landscaping company handle a job of that scale? Absolutely. Although our firm mostly does residential work, we have commercial clients too. In fact, just last summer, we did a large landscaping project for the Seward Grocery Store, which is located three blocks from your facility. Oh, really? I pass by that building daily, and I'm always impressed with how nice its front lawn looks. We certainly appreciate the compliment. Now, why don't you tell me more about the work you'd like done? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hello. I've come to pick up medicine prescribed to me by Dr. Vasquez. My name is Marcia Chow. Certainly. Here you are. Can I help you with anything else today? Yes. Do you know if it is possible to get a free flu shot at the medical clinic next door? It costs $30, I believe. I see. And where exactly should I go to get the shot? I've never been inside the clinic before. 
I'm not sure. Ah, uh, I can ask my supervisor, though. One moment, please. Daniel, this customer is interested in getting a flu vaccination at the clinic. Where exactly should she go? Just head to the eighth floor, the area for family medicine. You can't miss it. Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Calvin, do you have a portable storage device that I can borrow? I need to move the file for the marketing presentation I'm giving at the staff meeting to my laptop. I've got one in my drawer. Now, um, isn't that the meeting taking place three days from now? It's two days away, but I'd like to rehearse in advance since I'll be presenting in front of our department head. That makes sense. Well, if you want, I can join you in the conference room to watch your presentation. I'll give you my feedback on it so that you'll be better prepared for any questions that might come up. Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. As you can see, the apartment we're in comes with two bedrooms, a bathroom, living room, and modern kitchen. Additionally, the Chicago skyline can be seen from the bedroom. Rent is $1,900 a month. If you're interested in filling out an application, I have one right here. The apartment is very impressive, but I have another showing tomorrow, which I'd like to follow through with before making a decision on where to live. Of course. Just be aware that another potential tenant saw the unit this morning. Although she has yet to submit an application, she assured me that she was going to do so soon. Whoever turns one in first will be given priority. Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. How are negotiations going with TrueCare Medical Supplies? Did the president of TrueCare say whether the company agrees to our acquisition terms regarding the retention of personnel? Yes. He agreed that none of our existing employees will be dismissed immediately. However, all staff will be subject to a six-month evaluation following the purchase to determine whether they will receive contract extensions. Hmm. Well, at least everyone will have a chance to maintain their jobs. Have financial figures been discussed at all? As of now, we're being offered $45 million, which our analysts tell me is a bit low. I need your approval to ask the company to pay $48 million instead. Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and floor plan. Roger, we have to get the auditorium lobby ready before people arrive for tonight's debut performance of the play Going for Broke. Right, I've got the actors' photographs framed for display. What else is there to do? Can you set up some tables where programs can be handed out? Sure. There are a few in the basement. I'll ask Jacob to help me carry them up here. His shift starts in 15 minutes. Okay. And finally, we need a spot where fans can take photos with the cast after the show. Let's put it where it was last year, in the area to the left when you enter the building, just before you reach the refreshment stand. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and coupon. Excuse me, I'd like to buy a pad to make my bike seat more comfortable. Do you have the Explorer XS cushion in stock? Yes, it's right here. And you're in luck. The product has a retail price of $56, but it's currently marked down by 10%. That's great. Plus, I've got this coupon to use. Hmm. Unfortunately, it won't be valid for this purchase. Oh, I see what you mean. Well, I'll still take the pad. I need it as I'm going biking this weekend. Okay. If you're finished shopping, I can show you the way to the cashier area. Yes, this is all I'm looking for today. Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and flight schedule. Let's hurry, Kelsey. I'm concerned we won't catch our connecting flight to our destination. Wait, look here. This screen says our flight has been delayed. Yeah, you're right. In that case, I'd like to find a spot in this terminal that provides Wi-Fi. I need to download the lecture notes from the sales conference we attended in Cincinnati. Just so you know, there's a charge to use the airport's internet service. Really? I'd rather not pay a fee. Well, I should still have time to review the notes before our noon meeting today in Portland. Yeah, Miss Anderson probably won't ask us much about the conference anyway. She'll be more interested in whether we secured any sales contracts on our trip. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Ted, 
Have you booked accommodations for the speakers presenting at the environmental conference on January 12th that our company is organizing? I was planning to reserve rooms for all eight speakers at the Drake Inn. It's the same hotel we used when we arranged the trade show last month, but nothing is confirmed yet. Why? Well, the Silkwood Hotel is offering a 15% discount on all deluxe suites booked next week. The details about the deal are included in the newsletter that the hotel sent out by email yesterday. Could you forward the message to me? I'll check it out. Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Our competitor is launching a free delivery service next month. To stay competitive, we should consider eliminating the fee to deliver furniture from our store to customers' homes as well. What do you think? Hmm, I'm concerned we'd need to buy additional delivery trucks. More customers would use that service if there were no charge. Well, we could just lease them instead. That would require less initial investment. I like your suggestion. Do you believe we should prepare a cost projection report before we discuss the idea with our supervisor? Yes, let's do that. Can I get my tablet back from you? I lent it to you yesterday, and it contains the report template we'll need. Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Now, we can take a look at the compiled feedback from the recent diner questionnaire. And see if we can find some useful information to help improve our restaurant. Well, it looks like a majority of guests made positive comments about our facility's decor and layout. However, there are several complaints about the attitudes of some of our serving staff. I see. I think it's best we hold a training session to remind employees about our standards of service when dealing with customers. That's a thought. I can even share some great tips from the conference on the food service industry that I attended last week. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Good morning, Jerry. I have a quick question for you. Was your water bill higher than usual this month? Mine was, and I can't figure out why. I thought there might be a problem affecting everyone in the building. No. It's possible that there's an issue with your pipe system. You should have someone inspect it. That's a good idea. I'll need to find someone who will give me a fair price, though. It could be a big job. The plumber who I hired to work on my bathroom was very professional. Here, I'll give you his phone number. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Excuse me, Ms. Hill. Do you have a few minutes to talk about the new brochure for our fitness center? We need your approval before we have it printed. I've got some time now. I was just looking through it. To be honest, it still needs some work. What do you think needs to be addressed? It should include more details about the improvements we made to our facilities last month. Specifically, our weightlifting rooms were all expanded and skylights were installed above the indoor pool. Oh, Thank you for pointing that out. We should have been more specific. I agree. I can call the firm we contracted to design the brochure after lunch and request the changes. Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation Li Wei, a few of our junior copywriters approached me about getting raises this year. Do you think it's possible? Unfortunately, our labor costs have increased dramatically of late. I don't think we can afford to award raises at this time. But they've done such a wonderful job on all of our magazine issues over the past year. It seems like the right thing to do. Can't we appeal to upper management about their request? Let's bring it up when we meet with department heads this Thursday. But I don't think it will go well, since management has been emphasizing how high our labor expenses are at the moment. Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Thanks for returning my call so quickly, Derek. There's a problem with the projector in our boardroom. Someone knocked it off the table, and now it doesn't work properly. Oh, no. We bought that less than a month ago. Plus, I'll need it when I give a presentation to the board of directors this afternoon. That's why I'm contacting you. Fortunately, it turns on. 
but it's making a buzzing sound. Well, at least it's operating. You know, I just heard that the IT department doesn't have many requests to deal with today. Maybe I can get someone to look at it quickly and confirm that it's fine. Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. When will we be getting more units of the L7? We've been sold out of that smartphone model all week, but customers keep coming in to buy it. It's hard to say. The phone is extremely popular across the country, so most stores are out of stock. Plus, the product manufacturer hasn't indicated when our next inventory order will be shipped out. However, you can offer to put shoppers who want the item on a waiting list. Okay. By the way, we've had high customer traffic in the store, so I think we need another staff member to work weekday evenings. Good point. I'll post a notice in the break room to see if any of our employees are looking for extra hours. Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, isn't the museum featuring a special exhibit about space exploration for the next few weeks? I heard a commercial on the radio that made it sound quite interesting. That's correct. The exhibit is called Deep Universe, and it includes several interactive displays. The most popular is a collection of instruments from an actual space shuttle. Um, these were lent to us by the National Space Agency. Wow, I'd like to check that out. Is access to the exhibit included in the regular entrance fee? I'm afraid not. It will be an extra $15 per person. Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. I just want to see how your department is progressing with preparations for our annual clearance sale, which starts this Friday. There's a slight problem. Some display racks were broken when our staff moved them from the front of the store on Tuesday. Do we have any extras in the back room? Unfortunately not. We'll have to place a rush order for more racks because we need them to arrive on Thursday. But the store manager has to approve such orders, right? I'm on my way to his office now anyway, so I'll submit a formal request for him to sign off on. Thanks. In the meantime, I'll double-check if we have sufficient shopping bags underneath every cash register. Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Hi, this is Kirk from Telecorp. I received the voicemail you left with us earlier this morning about adding more hard drives to the computer server you ordered. I can do it, but the cost will be higher, and I'll have to change the contract. That's what I figured. How much more will it be? Well, the cost will be about $500 higher than my previous quote. Okay, that's fine. Will the change to my order affect the installation date? No, I'll come next Monday, as originally scheduled. It'll take about one hour longer than anticipated, though. That means I'll finish on Tuesday at 12 p.m. instead of 11 a.m. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and receipt. Paula, is your dress ready for the charity fundraiser we're attending tomorrow evening? It's still at the dry cleaners since it needed to be shortened a few inches. I'll pick it up tomorrow morning. You go to Bedford Dry Cleaners, don't you? I'm thinking about switching to that one, as my current dry cleaner will shut down in June. Well, Bedford's customer service is exceptional, and they even have monthly discounts. Ah, in May, they're providing 10% off work on all leather items. That sounds great. Maybe I'll come with you tomorrow and drop off some of my button-down shirts. Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and notice. Welcome to the Hartford Public Library. Hi, I'd like to borrow this book. I have my library card right here. Okay, and just to let you know, we've increased the loan period. You can borrow books for up to three weeks now. Great. Um, I also want to check out some new books that were supposed to arrive on August 13th, but they aren't on the shelves. I know the two you're referring to. The guidebook will be available on August 23rd. There's a typo on the notice. 
but the other one was damaged in transit, and the replacement won't arrive until September. Hmm. Can you recommend another book on that topic? Sure. I'll check our system for a similar title. Questions thirty-two through thirty-four refer to the following conversation. Selina, is your phone working? I just tried to make a call, but there's a busy signal when I pick up my receiver. I have the same problem. I contacted Mr. Bradford, the technical manager, and he said that the entire fourth floor has been affected. His team is fixing the phone lines now, but it looks like we'll have to rely on our mobile devices to call clients until the matter is resolved. Hmm, that's going to be an issue because I'm supposed to participate in a conference call in fifteen minutes. I see. Well, maybe you should head to the third floor and use a phone in the meeting room there. Questions thirty-five through thirty-seven refer to the following conversation. My family and I will be visiting the ruins of Tikal in a few hours for a guided tour. However, I forgot to arrange a ride to the site. I heard another guest talking about a shuttle service provided by the resort and would like to know more about it. That's right. We have our own vehicles that take visitors to destinations in the area. Plus, there is no charge for the service for those staying at our accommodation. Is it possible for us to take a shuttle at 1 p.m.? We need to be at the site around 1:30 p.m. Hold on. Let me just make sure that there is a shuttle departing at that time. Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. This is Classical Chat on 104.5 FM. My guest today is Rupert Harvey, a cellist in the Fordham Symphony Orchestra. Welcome, Mr. Harvey. Thank you. I'm a big fan of your show. I'm glad to have you here. So, your orchestra is planning to hold a concert on March 20th, correct? Yes, and the proceeds from this performance will go to the Carter Institute. Um, this organization provides financial support to a variety of groups in the city that offer music programs for children. Great. We'll get into that in more detail in a few minutes. But first. We have a special treat for listeners. Mr. Harvey will give a live performance right now. Questions forty-one through forty-three refer to the following conversation. Hi, Mr. Young. This is Fatima from Carolina Monthly. I've been assigned to take your picture for the article we're writing about you, and I'm wondering when you'd be free to meet with me. I'll be available tomorrow at three p.m., Fatima. Where do you want to get together? Since the article focuses on your architectural work, perhaps we could meet at the construction site of the latest building you designed, the Grand Theatre. I'd like to photograph you in front of the partially finished structure. That sounds good. By the way, once the building is completed next month, I will be happy to bring you back and let you capture images of the interior as well. Questions forty-four through forty-six refer to the following conversation. I'm dissatisfied with Gordon Distribution Services. Our retail outlet has received incorrect shipments of goods from them on multiple occasions over the previous six months. For instance, just last Tuesday we received a dozen pairs of Eclipse basketball shoes, which is fewer than I requested. Plus, the company has yet to address my complaints. Considering the ongoing troubles that we're experiencing with that company, I think it would be best for us to partner with another firm. In that case, I'll reach out to other reputable distributors that provide services in the Madison area. Ah, but before I do that, can you help me hang up some signs about our membership program changes throughout the store? Questions forty-seven through forty-nine refer to the following conversation. I've taken a look at your slideshow for the marketing presentation we will give to Upturn Incorporated in November. I have some feedback on it that I would like to discuss with you. Certainly. Let me just open the file on my computer quickly so that we can review it together. Okay. What part do you want to talk about? I think you should add more content to the sixth slide about the results of our market research. Specifically, you can note that we've included rainforest images in the billboards because Upturn's target market responds positively to images of nature. Sure. I'll also put emphasis on how many people on our team responded more positively to red text than black text. That seems worth noting as well. 
Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Tim, Laura, have you had a chance to speak with Mr. Kong from Seaward Financial yet? He needs help finding employees for the new office his company is opening in San Diego. Oh, yes, he stopped by this morning. Right. We explained how our firm can manage the recruiting process, and he seemed very interested. Great. So he's decided to hire us then? Uh, not exactly. While the meeting went smoothly, he still hasn't made up his mind. I think we need to explain more clearly how much time and money he'll save by paying us to do the work. I agree. It's the only way we'll be able to convince him to become a client. Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Inez, did you hear that a new employee will start working for us next Monday? His name is Denny Williams. I did. A representative from the IT team, Juwon Kim, called this morning and said he will set up a computer for him tomorrow afternoon. Great, but Denny will also need access to CashFine, our company's online financial research application. He'll use it for the budget analysis project. You should make sure this is arranged before he starts. Oh, I didn't realize that. I'll email the web services team requesting a cash find password now. Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. I just found out about the new inventory tracking software that was installed on our computers on Tuesday, but its functions are a bit unusual, so I'm having some trouble. Have you figured out how to properly use it? For the most part, reading the user manual has been helpful. I recommend you do the same. A digital copy of it was emailed to everyone a few days ago. Oh, really? I never received the message. Can you forward it to me so I can look it over? Certainly. However, it's odd that you weren't included in the original email. You should inform our manager about that to ensure you're a part of future group messages and important announcements. Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Melanie. This is John Peters calling from the payroll department. I want to let you know that I noticed an error on last month's timesheets for one of your employees. Is that so? I made sure to double-check all of the sheets against my team's schedule before approving them. Which employee are you referring to? Teresa Ford. Although she is a part-time employee, she entered 120 hours for the month of January. That's about 40 more hours than she normally works. I actually increased her hours to 30 per week last month, and that situation will continue moving forward. I already informed the head of human resources about it, but I'll call him right now and ask him to update the information in your database today. Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and table. Eastside Cable, how may I help you? Hi, this is Jeremy Munro. A worker is supposed to install a new cable box at my property today, but I can't remember the appointment time. Just a minute. Um, he'll be there at 2 p.m. Thanks. I also want to change my TV package. I'm viewing your online brochure now. Okay. Well, for this month only, package A is offered at a discount. But that doesn't include the service I'm most interested in. I prefer package B. I see. Well, you're certainly free to upgrade to that one, but you'll have to pay the standard rate. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and instruction manual. Hi, Billy. What are you doing? I'm trying to assemble this table. Um, our manager told me to set up another one in this conference room. Is it very complicated? The instructions are pretty straightforward. I've used all the bolts to attach the legs to the tabletop. However, one of the remaining parts seems to be missing. That must be frustrating. Have you contacted the company you ordered it from? I called them this morning, but their customer service department was busy dealing with other issues. I'm going to try them again during my lunch hour. Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and graph. I'm sorry I couldn't attend our product launch event, George. Speaking with our vice president took longer than expected. That's okay. What did Mr. Dana need to talk to you about? 
He's concerned about our most expensive oven model. Sales have dropped for three consecutive months since a competitor put out a similar product. Ah, you mean the one released by Saber Electronics in July? Right. Mr. Darner wants me to present some ideas for increasing our model sales to the board of directors next Thursday. That's a big responsibility. If you need any assistance with collecting data, I can help you out. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. I'm calling from Data Trend Enterprises. We have a client flying in from Shanghai tomorrow morning and would like a driver from your chauffeur service to pick her up from the airport. I can arrange that for you. May I have her name, flight number, and arrival time? Her name is Tina Ming, and she'll be arriving on flight DF304 at 10:20 a.m. Also, could she be taken to the Palm Hotel before being brought to our office? She'll need to drop off her luggage. No problem. I'll add the pickup to our schedule, and one of our employees will be at the airport in the morning to get her. Questions thirty-five through thirty-seven refer to the following conversation. Hello, my name is Leslie Carver from Danis Incorporated. My department will be having a luncheon on July second at noon. I'd like you to deliver food and drinks to the eighth floor conference room for approximately fifty people on that day. Okay, Miss Carver. Do you expect any attendees with special dietary requirements? Yes, actually. I noticed on your online menu that you have vegetarian sandwiches. So could I please order ten of those? For the remaining sandwiches, I think a combination of the chicken salad and roast beef ones would work. Also, do you offer drinks without any sugar? Questions thirty-eight through forty refer to the following conversation. Good afternoon. My name is Frank Peters, and I have my yearly physical examination today with Dr. Murray. My appointment is at ten forty-five a.m. Hello, Mr. Peters. Please wait while I pull up your records. Also, did you by chance bring your health insurance card today? If so, please place it on the counter. Yes, I have it right here. But may I ask what you need it for? Isn't my insurance information already on file? All the state hospitals recently adopted a new record-sharing system that will keep patients like you from having to register personal information at each facility. I just want to confirm that your medical records are in order following the upgrade. Questions forty-one through forty-three refer to the following conversation. Good morning, Ms. Willard. This is Hiro Kusanagi from Decor Max. I visited your booth at the Virginia Crafts Exhibition, and I was impressed with the wooden picture frames you make. Would you be willing to sell them at my store on a commission basis? I'd be very interested, Mr. Kusanagi. Why don't I bring some samples to your store later this week? Great. We can talk about prices and other details then as well. Um, how many frames can you produce each month? About forty, but I could make more if I hired a couple of assistants for my workshop. That probably won't be necessary right away, but we can talk more about that when we meet. Questions forty-four through forty-six refer to the following conversation. Alonzo, are you done creating the blueprints for the Morrissey Building? Our supervisor wants to review them in our meeting at four p.m. Not yet. I'm still working on the presentation slideshow for the seminar I'm leading tomorrow on finding architectural inspiration. It's been taking me longer than anticipated. Hmm. I gave a similar presentation to new hires last year. How about I finish the slideshow so that you can focus on the blueprints? I'll email you the presentation materials in a minute. Let me just wrap up the design for this slide and save the file to my computer. I really appreciate your assistance. Questions forty-seven through forty-nine refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Yumi and Brian, will Hall A in our museum have enough room for the Egyptian art exhibition? Maybe. There aren't many pieces to display, right? Just two dozen, but they're all large, so we need a big space. I recommend Hall C instead. Is it available? It will be. Korean tapestries are there now, but our director said to take them down on August first. Um, I'm a little worried since that only gives us three days to set up the necessary pieces. How about printing the labels for the Egyptian works beforehand? Then we could just move everything into the hall prior to the event. Okay, I'll grab the artwork list for us to reference now.
Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Good afternoon. This is Carlos Tran, and I'm a representative from the Riverside Business Institute. I was hoping to reach Ms. Brenda Ling in regard to the advanced accounting course she completed last week. This is Ms. Ling. What can I do for you? I'm contacting the participants who went through the course to gather feedback. The responses we receive will help our organization to improve its services and curriculum in the future. Could you spare a moment to answer some questions? It won't take up much of your time. I'm actually quite busy at the moment. I'll have some free time in the afternoon, however. Please call me back after 2 pm. Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Hi there. It's my first time selling my fruits and vegetables at this farmer's market. I noticed that your booth is popular. How do you attract so many customers? I upload pictures of my products online. My blog gets a lot of visitors, and many of them decide to stop by my stall. How about trying something similar? That's a great idea. Thanks for the advice. Also, do you know if vendors can get a discount at other sellers' stands? I'm not sure. You should ask the market's organizer about that. Oh, there he is now, talking to the owner of Diana's Juice Bar. Okay, I'll do that right now. Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Hi, my name is Cody Tate, and I'm calling from the Bryant Park Activity Center. I'd like to talk to you about the neighborhood event you volunteered to work at tomorrow. Oh, I assume you're referring to the Bryant Town Carnival? That's correct. According to our records, you've agreed to set up game booths at the carnival. Would you be able to work at the ticket booth for a few hours once the event begins as well? The person who was assigned that responsibility has fallen ill, so we need someone to fill in for her. Yes, of course. However, I can only stay until about 5 p.m., as I have another engagement later in the day. Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Maybe we could hang this painting behind our spa's reception desk. I like the relaxing beach scene. Yeah. Plus, the blue colors match the spa's interior. But first, we should ask Monica's opinion. Hey, Monica, how about buying this painting for our lobby? Don't we have something like that near the entrance? You mean the one with the sailboats? I hadn't thought of that. We wouldn't want two related works close together. What about buying artwork from a website instead of at a gallery? There will be more choices online. Oh, have you too heard of Crafty.com? It sells reasonably priced works from less popular artists. We can browse that site when we return from our lunch break. Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. It's Liam O'Reilly from the Cypress Mall branch. I'm assisting a customer who is interested in renting a van that can seat a minimum of eight people. Do you happen to have any available? Unfortunately, the two we have on our lot are reserved for use later today. Let me check the database. Uh, yes, it appears we have three that would be appropriate. Why don't I ask a staff member to drive one to your location right away? It shouldn't take more than 15 minutes or so. That's great. I'm sure the customer won't mind waiting. Please tell the employee to inform me upon reaching the facility. Thanks. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and map. Excuse me, where is the observation deck for the harbor located? Just walk towards Starfish Beach after you exit this visitor center. The deck is on the corner. Ah, and it's fortunate you came today. The boardwalk will be filled with people tomorrow because of a kite flying competition. Good to know. By the way, I'll be able to see Dune Island from the deck, right? Yes. New viewing machines were just installed there, and the weather is clear today. Great. Also, I'm curious how much the parking fee for the nearby lot is. The regular price is $20 per day, but local residents only pay $15 because they get a 25% discount. Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and schedule. Did you see this section of the carpet? There's a rather large stain here. Oh, what a mess. Maybe something was spilled during the year end party that occurred earlier this afternoon. I'm worried because our clients from Downview Legal Associates are arriving for a meeting at 3 pm. We should use Conference Room D instead, seeing as it's unoccupied right now. 
All right, I'll gather up our presentation handouts and bring them there. While I do that, please call the building maintenance team. They should deal with the stain in conference room C as soon as possible, since Janice Chung will conduct an interview there later this afternoon. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Who am I supposed to submit this corporate merger article to for review when I'm done drafting it? It's Friday, and the story is scheduled to be published in our paper Sunday edition. So, someone will have to approve it by the end of the day. You can send it to Arnold Smith. Following his promotion last week, he's responsible for all articles published in our weekend edition. I'll submit it to him this afternoon, then. But first, could you tell me what you think of the title? Um, here's a copy of the piece. Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Thank you for calling Jenkins Automotive Insurance. This is Bernard speaking. What can I do for you? My name is Candace Black, and I'm one of your insurance policyholders. I was just in an accident outside Austin, and I would like my car to be towed to an auto repair shop. I don't feel comfortable driving it. I completely understand, Ms. Black. A tow truck will be dispatched to your location immediately. But first, I'd just like to confirm that you've notified the police about the situation. Yes, I did. In fact, an officer is going to stay here with me until the tow truck arrives. Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Oh, I can't believe Pasadena Gallery is going to display my artwork. Thank you so much. We take great pride in supporting local artists, and I think your paintings will appeal to our clients. Plus, if you go on to achieve success, we can say that your first exhibit was held at our gallery. Well, I'm very excited. By the way, have you decided on the dates yet? A two-week show would probably work best. I'm thinking about holding it from August 27th to September 10th. Ah, could it start one week earlier, on August 20th? I'm travelling to Berlin to participate in a meet-and-greet event with other aspiring painters on September 8th. That should be fine. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. What a busy morning. We've received so many complaints today about the latest update to our company's accounting program. It's been hard trying to resolve callers' issues. Didn't you say you dealt with a really upset customer earlier, Lena? Yeah. She was working on a financial report for her company this morning and lost all her data when the program crashed. I can understand her frustration, but I'm still not looking forward to answering more calls after lunch. That's for sure. Anyway, speaking of lunch, how about going to the Italian restaurant across the street? My treat. Okay, but let's try to return to the office before 1 p.m. I need to finish filing some paperwork. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Can I help the next customer in line? Hello. I bought these bed sheets at your store last week, but they're not the correct size for my mattress, so I'd like to return them. Of course. Did you bring the receipt for the purchase with you? Um, I lost it. Does that mean that I can't get a refund? Do you have the same credit card you bought the items with? I can look up the transaction using the number. Yes, I have it in my wallet. Uh, let me just get it. Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Do you require some assistance? Yes, I'd like your opinion on which of these ties to get. Both of them have fashionable patterns, but I'm not sure if the black one will complement this suit I'm buying for my friend's wedding. Since the suit you've picked is grey, I think this sky blue tie matches it better. The black one seems too dark in my opinion. Hmm, you're right. Plus, my friend said that light purple will be one of his wedding colours, so your recommendation will go better with that too. I'll put it on now just to make sure it suits me, if that's okay. Questions 50 through 52 
refer to the following conversation. Hi, I went to singer Farrah Miller's concert last Thursday at your theater, but I was very disappointed that there were issues with the sound due to a microphone malfunction. I want a full refund for my ticket, please. I'm sorry about that, sir. However, we aren't providing refunds because the issue was caused by the band's equipment. I suggest you make a complaint on Farrah Miller's official website. I tried that yesterday, but I haven't heard back yet. Isn't there anything you can do to compensate me? Well, we can provide you with a 20% discount for a future performance at our venue. I hope this will make up for the inconvenience you've experienced. Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Okay. Both candidates for the consumer analyst position are qualified. Either would be suitable for the job. I feel that Patricia Spaulding is more versatile as she's worked on different types of studies. What do you think, Jamie? I agree. She has used several methods to examine consumer trends, and I'd like her help with some marketing research I'm in charge of now. Good idea. Also, I thought Ms. Spaulding was more approachable than the other candidate. Then let's offer Ms. Spaulding the position. We can notify her today. Stella, could you do that? I'll call her right after this meeting. Thanks. I know she's anxious to hear from us, so let's not keep her waiting. Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation Elaine, I have an idea. What if our company started subsidizing employee education? We could offer financial support for workers who want to pursue professional courses. I don't see why not. Many successful corporations invest in staff development, and based on last Friday's gathering with the board of directors, our company has enough money in its budget to do the same. So then, how much of the education costs do you think we should cover? The best way to determine that. Is to look into the amounts that other similar companies normally provide. Please do some research and let me know what you find. Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation Hello, I'd like to purchase a pressure cooker from your department store. Ah,、uh, the Cookware 550. I can definitely take care of that for you, ma'am. Have you ordered anything over the phone from us before? Yes, I have. There should be an account for Marilyn Tan with a home address at 100 Eastwood Street in Baltimore. However, I'd like the item shipped to my friend's home since it will be a gift for her housewarming party. Absolutely. Please just wait a moment while our system loads and then I'll enter all the necessary information. Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation How's the trade fair going for you? My booth has been busy. Mine too. My company's products are selling well. I wish I had more help. It seems there are more people at the fair this year than usual. A staff member at the registration desk said there was a 15% increase in attendance on the first day this year compared to last year. However, my company's booth only has two employees working there today、um, me and my colleague. So your co worker is all alone at your booth now? Yeah, I'd better get back. I've promised to assist him with passing out schedules for the demonstrations we'll be giving this afternoon. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and menu Joan, we need to make arrangements to have a small office party for Angela's birthday next week. Oh, thanks for bringing that up. I had forgotten about it. Do you have any ideas? Yes, I suggest we hold the celebration in the conference room. But before I buy a cake, I need to know the food budget. We can spend up to $50 on a cake, but please make sure it's big enough so that everyone in the office can have a slice. It should be at least 10 inches. Whatever you buy, just bring the receipt to Mary in the Human Resources Department and she'll reimburse you. Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and subway map. Welcome to Smooth Beginnings, the nation's top provider of beauty products. How can I help you? I'm looking to purchase some moisturizer. My skin gets a bit dry in the winter. 
Where can I find these products? They're next to the cashier, um, just over there. Thanks. By the way, this new store is really nice. I'm glad you like it. We just opened last week. Did you have any trouble finding it? No. I live near the bus terminal, so it was easy to get here by subway. That's right. There are only two stops between the terminal and Norton Station if you take line three. Well, that line isn't running today because the track is being repaired. But luckily, there's another one with the same number of stops. I took that one.